Hello, my favorite. Hello. How are you? Stephanie, it is so good to see you again. It's been a little bit of a while. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. (laughs) You have been so unbelievably busy. We've we've been busy. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if you want to learn about yourself, write a book. (laughs) So for those those that don't know, (laughs) Stephanie is a fantastic singer-songwriter. You are an amazing performer, an incredible artist, but you've you've got this incredible backstory of your life. And you wrote this incredible book. So can you yes. give us a sort of brief... The snapshot. Yeah. Of how sort of this all came about. I'm so I'm sorry. impressed, I, I take way. it with me. You know, I mean, it's like <laughs> broken. The bi- I broke the binding. Uh, because, I, you know, I take it with me wherever I go. Why Do We Stay is essentially my prequel right. to my current life. And, you know, when I wrote the album On the Edge, which was this kind of... Well, it was that it, I put it all out there in song. But there's so much interpretation with song. Yeah. And I thought one day I might write a book about this stranger than fiction situation. And then I did. <laughs> and here we are. And it's essentially the, the, the how I ended up in these toxic relationships mm-hmm. that I go into great specificity. Ooh, hey. That's a big word. That's Thank far you. Too big Thank for you morning, for my, but, my yeah. English friends. And uh, detail. And with that, we were able to collaborate with Keith Campbell, who's an, he's an expert in narcissism. Yeah. Who knew there were experts? There are experts, friends. Let's not waste our time with social media to learn. Right. Let's go to the experts. I feel like there's an expert for everything. Well, you could probably find and one. And here's the truth. He's been talking about this for 15 years. Oh so God. at the precipice, when this first, you know, happened to me in 2009, when, you know, my, my boyfriend dies in this tragic plane crash, my whole life, I realize, is a lie from the other women to our entire life together. It just sent me on this kind of domino effect of bad decisions. Mm-hmm. And because I didn't do my... I didn't do the hard work. I didn't do the processing. I didn't seek out the experts. I didn't even know the terms. So Keith takes my story and is able to go, hey, this is what this means. In expert terminology, not in, you know, country artist (laughs) songwriting terminology. So I I love that it now can be a tool, Mm -hmm. which is my hope. No, I, I don't know that I would ever be like, oh, this will be fun. Yeah. You know, because it goes to a lot of places. But the hope is, is if someone reads it and is able to get to that healing faster mm-hmm. than I took, yeah. that gives them time back. And as we both know, you can't make more time. No. We can make more money, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> can't make more time. So where are we spending our time? Yeah. And uh, it's, been, it's, it's been an adventure. Is, there gonna, is this the start of a new career for you? Are you going to become a fully-fledged author as well as a singer-songwriter? Do you think you could do another book? I absolutely could do another book. I think there is another book because okay. with the discovery came so much discovery. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the title of the deluxe album is Forgiven. Right. And that has nothing to do with anyone other than me forgiving myself. Right. You know, I made my decisions. I was complicit. And that's really important because I think sometimes we are so good at pointing fingers at others Mm -hmm. and what happens to us. And I really want to own that Mm -hmm. in myself because no one chose that for me. Yeah. I did that. And now I can learn from it and grow from it. I don't know when that would be. That that's like a, that's like a, a long cooker. I would love actually to write about fiction. <laughs> I would like to just like make up some stuff with some cowgirls and some horses and just you know create a whole other yeah. world that has nothing to do yeah, with uh, me personally. But music is my yeah. is my heart. So I'm very excited to write what I'm calling uh, this next album is personality with the depth like with you know like both because Mm -hmm. i'm too happy to be sad that i have discovered that's a title right there right like i mean (laughs) i I just i don't i don't do well living in the heavy yeah and so i find myself even amidst you know the book and doing the audiobook is like how do i bring my light Mm -hmm. to the heavy and so that's what this next will be. So the, this is the deluxe album that's coming out. The deluxe album comes out right after the book. Mm-hmm. And that is, you know, on the edge, we had so many versions of it 
from when we wrote the songs mm -hmm. to when we took them into the studio with the band to just see if we had anything. So people get to hear how it became this album. Yeah. And then Why Do We Stay, which is brand, brand new. The book is out, Why Do We Stay? <sighs> yes. Oh, but before we go, yes. we just have to talk about your outfit. Can you remembered. believe we pulled that off? Okay. So just talk as we'll put up a picture yes, of yes. this, by the way. This was at the CMT Awards, right? It was. <laughs> just take the floor, Miss Stephanie. And okay, tell us. So this is just awesome. I'm 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 not so here's I here, almost forgot yes. to ask you about it. No, it it was so much it was one of those again, like risk it all. There's nothing to lose. Why not, right? Right. Why not? Why not? Yeah. And so my dear friend, Rachel Deeb, she's an incredible visual artist. We've done music videos together, photo shoots together. She paints, you know, she did Carrie Underwood's uh, jacket for her tour. I mean, she does all kinds of very creative things. And so I was just thinking about, you know, the CMT Music Awards and, and walking the carpet and being a CMT Next Woman, which yeah. is so fun and all these things. But I have a book coming out. Mm -hmm. And how can I share that in microseconds yeah. when it's such a topic? Right. It's not a quick hit. No. So I was like, all right, well, what if we painted the book cover on the dress? Then worst case scenario, at least the photograph would, would maybe spark a conversation. Yeah. Or the dress would be like, what is this? Yeah. Right? And so I reached out to Rach, and I was like, okay, is there any way – you would be willing to, she's like, this is insane. I go, I don't disagree, but I'm not the one painting the dress. I don't even know if this is, I don't even know if this is hard. Doable, right? I don't know yeah. if it's doable, I don't know if it's hard. She goes, do you have the dress? I'm like, no, yeah. <laughs> I do not have the dress. And then the dress was late. So the dress didn't get to me until Thursday night. The awards were on Sunday, right? Yes. So Thursday night. So I got to Rachel on Friday afternoon. I think it was about 2.30. Yeah. And she had, I think she painted it for 14 hours. It was dry maybe two hours prior to our flight on Saturday. And then... We like to cut things fine here. Fine. I mean, first of all, it was such a divine orchestration of, sure, we'll make this happen because yeah. the dress fabric was like this foamy material which took to the paint so well it didn't oh. break or crack. We had an entire, like, bin for the dress. You know, it was in the little yeah. Southwest flight. That dress was flying first class. <laughs> and it's own compartment. And it was just a wild, you know, and, and I got on every, like, worst dress list, best dress list, what is she dress list, you know, you know, like, what's happening here? And, and, and it became a conversation, which is such a cool thing for the book because the That's content of the book, I really do believe will help people. Yeah. So, and it was just kind of a wild orchestration. And, I love it. You know, I was in the wrong shoes. <laughs> uh, they didn't stay on long. I think as soon as I was off the carpet, they were off my feet. I'm like, nope. This is the nope. real stuff that you don't see. Yeah. When, you, when you see the red carpet, you, this is the real stuff. This is what I love about you. You're real, you're honest, you're oh, yeah. authentic. And oh. I, that is what anybody could ever wish to hope to be. Well, right? you know, I, it, it was one of, and it was so fun sharing her. Yeah. Because she is a behind the scenes. Yeah. And so to be able for, you know, to do these interviews and just shine light on her, and that. it was her first red carpet, so she was just, you know, like, she was like, you want me? I'm like, come on, get in the interview. Let's do this together. It was so much fun. I love that. It was, it was well, really sweet. absolutely gorgeous. Well, you're very kind. I had full hair and makeup, and then I think I ate a lot of food after that. Yeah. 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 That's what people do. It was really life. fun. I will say, sneak, sneak, sneaky. I took the uh, cover mm -hmm. and I put it on cardboard. You around a purse or something, didn't you? I, yes, I yeah. made a little satchel. And the moment I giggled inside, the hardest was when they were taking my picture and they're like, show us the purse. <laughs> and I'm like, don't get too close. It's like taped and it's cardboard and it's not real. Right. It's to, it was, I got the giggles off that so much because it was just, I mean, I like sewed a little bag inside a cardboard taped situation. I and But so I put much. the cover, I mean, it was exactly yeah. this, like, you know, bopping down the, it's ridiculous. That. You know, awesome. why not? Why not? Well, why not? Why not? Why not? Everyone, why not? Why not? Thank you so much for coming I adore in. you. I'm so pleased about the book. I'm so happy for you. <sighs> Books out, deluxe album out. I'm coming to the UK things. with this. 
She's, got, she's doing a worldwide tour. We're just going to get you worldwide, all around the world, because I think this is important. How many how many books can you bring in your suitcase before they like they're like ah? Oh, as many as you, as many as you want, as long as you say that they're for your own personal use. I just really love this book, and I'm going to read every single different version of it that I have in my suitcase. There we go. There you go. Totally legal. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, it's great to see you. Thank you for having me. As always, Thank you. appreciate you.